making protein pancakes this morning and I'm using the Kodiak power cakes mix and I added actually some of this uh, whey protein to it and then one egg and some water. It should be pretty good. And I always use real maple syrup because it's the best. And my mom's um, raw butter, 100% raw grass-fed Jersey cream butter, the best superfood. So this is what happens to my boy when I go running. Fast to sleep. So today we're gonna to make some pizza. So I'm gonna make some pizza dough from scratch using this yeast. The salt, evaporated cane juice, and organic all-purpose flour. It's actually better with bread flour if you have it, but I don't, so I'm going to use this. I'm going to start with three and a half cups of flour. need a little bit more you can add it if your dough is too wet. Then you're going to add the yeast. One package of instant yeast. Then you add one teaspoon of the evaporated cane juice. And then you're going to add one teaspoon of salt. Actually, two teaspoons, pardon me. One, two. Then you can mix all that together. You can mix everything together either by hand or using a mixer, but after it's mixed, um, and actually simultaneously, you should be adding one and a half cups of water at 110 degrees Fahrenheit, but as you can see, I am a mother, so I have to do a lot of things one-handed, so I am not mixing at the same time. That I, I also added two tablespoons of oil. You should use olive oil if you have it, but I used coconut oil. And now you're just going to mix that until it's a nice dough. The dough is going to rise for an hour, and we're just going to go have a look and see what the boys are doing. doubled in size in about 45 minutes. So I'm going to put some flour 
here and I'm going to divide the dough into two balls. And they're going to just rest here for a minute before I turn them into crust. take some oil and lightly try and sprinkle it. If you have a pastry brush, actually that would be awesome. You could use that, but I'm just going to pour it on here. And then I'm going to cook it for approximately 10 minutes at 425 until it's almost cooked before I put the toppings on. So this pizza is topped with pesto, ham, pico de gallo, and cheese. You can obviously top your pizza with whatever you prefer.